So what you're saying is that the, the council is taking power away from the parliament? Yes, they're taking power away and they are very aware of that. They try and we should not let them go through with that. Okay, how are you going to stop them? We have co-decision in three of the four files and therefore we link the t uh, th things together. The first file, we are only in consultation. We do not start negotiating and also dealing with this file before the three others are also on the table. So the truth is that this isn't really about the budget for the new diplomatic service, is it? It's about who controls it, who has authority over it. It's the question of how Europe is organized in this new domain for new rights for Europe, how it's organized for the next 20 years. And we care about our rights, but also about the commun communitary matter and method. You know, the Council wants to have intergovernmental elements and strengthen these elements. This is not in our sense, because this external service they want to have will not work. Many people in the diplomatic service around the world are saying we need this new EAS to, to be in place as soon as possible. These delays are not helpful. Yes, it's true, but it's not us to be responsible for that. It's this council. They broke, with their proposals, they break European law, they break budgetary law, they break staff law. And therefore, it's their responsibility. They create problems we have to solve first. And therefore, I would like to invite everybody, don't create problems, in, integrate it in the Commission, and then it will go very, very quickly. You're on record as saying that Catherine Ashton is simply out of her depth. Why do you say that? She has the most difficult duty in Europe. She is between European Parliament, Council and Commission. For the moment, she is more at the Council side than at our sides. And therefore, I hope that she will think about her position and come closer to Parliament. If this dispute drags on, if you don't get the sort of parliamentary supervision that you're looking for, what's the Parliament's fallback position? It's our right, you know, don't give up before you start. We will not give up. This is an important point because it's a question of efficiency and also a question of taxpayers' money. I'm sure when a taxpayer understands what's going on, he will be on our side.